Dr. Kame called for the overhaul of the National Tender Board, saying it was giving tenders to contractors who are proven failures. The minister, however, told the gathering that he leaves the ministry in a fortnight with a smile, as many success stories were recorded during his 15 years as deputy and health minister. Infrastructure development and training of health workers were identified as some of the critical areas to deliver effective health care. I wish to use this opportunity to reiterate my call to the contractors. The contractors are in a way contributing to the downfall. Instead of us moving forward, they are making us to stand and wait indefinitely. It is not good. The so-called B. But they must be warned. We are wasting money. Government is wasting resources. I will share with you some clinics in this, in this region where we are, unfinished, as a result of greed. He said the ministry constructed more than 100 clinics and health centers as well as completely new district hospitals at Engela, Enana, Okongo, Karasbeg, and Omfia. This brought the number to about 40 district and intermediate hospitals and a network of 45 health centers and 271 clinics, which he believes are a strong foundation for the country's health sector. The establishment of the School of Medicine and the Cardiac Unit are some of the notable achievements. Dr. Kamui said maternal deaths and HIV AIDS infections are some of the challenges the health system is still faced with. However, the reduction of mother-to-child transmission of HIV is a considerable achievement. He noted that about 140,000 people have been successfully placed on life-prolonging antiretroviral treatment at 12 ART-specialized clinics countrywide.